Attention! Go! So Matthew Pinson started them in the ladies' challenge for Princeton University, USA, on the Berkshire Station. Thames at Tidus Scholar School on the Buckinghamshire Station. Thought Princeton got off better there. They were quicker onto the first few strokes, looked a little bit more together, which isn't that surprising given they've been rowing together all season. I'm hurtling towards the end of the island. Princeton have got a slight lead. Exactly, good point, Stan. This is the crew that have rowed together all season compared to the bottom of your screen here. You see all the multicolored lycras because this is a crew made up of individual athletes who have been deemed to be the best of the best in their age group, under 23, and they've been thrown together to go and race, hopefully, at the under 23s shortly. It did also look to me like Thames and Tideway Scholars went off um, a little bit to their stroke side and then had to correct, which won't have helped them either off that start. No, and then Cox here is going to have to keep shouting at them. So here, Ali can they squeeze their crew back on terms with this fast starting Princeton crew? I think it's going to be tough. I think there's going to be a tough race for Thames and Tideway Scholars. I think Princeton have got off to a good start. They've got some really class athletes in there. I look at Theo Bell, winner of the, the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup back in 2021, really strong British uh, prospect. And it does look to me now like Princeton are, are going to carry on moving away. But, you know, I wouldn't mind being proven wrong if Thames and Tideway Scholars can pull something out. You can see how aggressive it is, Stan, can't you? As well, look at the cocks where they get thrown around a little bit. Why is that happening? They do a little bit, don't they? Well, some crews put more check on the boat, and, and that's not often a good thing, but provided all the rows are doing the same thing, you can you can sometimes get away with it. It's not a comfortable seat to sit in. The cox's seat is a little hard, bit of carbon fibre. You can get flung around a little bit. Yeah, some coxes can get a little bit carried away with it and start throwing themselves around, which isn't ideal, but that's they, they sort of get carried away with the aggression of it. Princeton. Coming towards us there, the black and the orange, the tiger heavies, they are a length up in the ladies' challenge plate. This is an event for intermediate men's aid. So we just saw the grand earlier today, that's the open event for the internationals race. This is if you're slightly ranked higher up than a club. Yeah, I think for my money, Princeton also doing a better job of getting the blade into the water on the front end, which really is everything in the aid. You've got to get it. You've got to drop it in nice and sharp, get on the work, because these boats are moving quickly, and if you don't do that quick enough, you won't get hold of anything, and you'll just try and do it all with your arms, which is not a recipe for speed. And Princeton are just, you know, they churn out amazing athletes time after time after time. We are very lucky in Great Britain to have one of those. Tom George, who you will be watching in a few weeks' time, he'll be racing our men's pair as a Princeton graduate. We, we have quite a few of these athletes, don't we, that go through these systems? We certainly do, yeah. A lot of really promising British athletes go over to US universities now. The nice thing is they come back. They come back and then they uh, they row in our um, for Team GB as well. So it sort of works in the favour of the British as well. Yeah, we can see that actually in the crew on the left-hand side of your screen. Gabe Oltholzer in the three-seat. He's actually at Harvard. Got uh, tied with scholars like her on there for you though. So you know you've got this smattering of internationals that have gone across and raced in America. They know the system. They'll know these rowers as they're holding Princeton to this length and not letting them go away. Yeah, it's a race we've seen a few times already today, isn't it? One crew just gets that length up, and the other doesn't really let them go away. But for my money, it just reinforces the point of that start, that first 500 meters, because you might not have a much quicker base pace than the other crew, but if you can eke out three quarters of a length, you know, before the barrier, you're not going to give it up, and you're going to win the race. Princeton were quicker in the early stages of the races yesterday. Again, we were talking about that. So that's given them the confidence. It's given them that power to move out, sit there, stare back at this under-23 GB men's eight, and move away. Credit to Thames and Tideway Scholars, though. They haven't rowed together as a crew before, and it's not easy as a scratch crew to come together and figure it out. As you look down, the Princeton crew, Bow, Zachary Valchech, Patrick Shaw and two, Nicholas Taylor, Hannah Brack, Marco Schutt, Theodore Bell, Marco van Bierkum de Graf Massy, and Patrick Long with Connor Niels coxing them. 
you do, it's interesting looking at these two crews. I have to say, Princeton, they look like the faces of the crew that was in front. And I might say the opposite of this uh, Thames and Tideway Scholars crew. And it's just, it's just the way it goes. When you're in front, you're assured. You know what you're doing is enough and you just keep doing it very relaxed. Unfortunately, not the way when you're down. You're always trying to do a bit more. And that can have the, uh, the perverse effect of making you tie up a little bit and probably not adding to speed. They've kept it a length, though. This is really strong rowing from this young British crew, very young athletes. They've kept in touch with Princeton and they've not let them go. That's really hard to do one-on-one. -on -one. No, I agree. It's really hard. It's uh, everything is against you when you're a length down. But to hold on, to hold that length there, is, uh, it's a credit to them. As, as, you know, as we said, they're a scratch crew. Um, pretty tough coming up against such quality opposition who've raced together for the whole season, if not longer. Well, remember these names, remember these faces in this crew on the left-hand side of your screen. We're going to be seeing them in the next few Olympiads for Great Britain. I'm sure we'll have medalists in that crew. But today, Princeton are proving too strong as they come through the enclosures. Those white shirts, those orange spoons are looking to move into the finals day at Henry Warragata. It's really nicely in sync, very controlled now from Princeton. They did the business in that first 500 of this race and they pretty much stayed there the entire way. The young British crew have given it everything and we're going to see them getting faster through the season today in the ladies' challenge play. It's a win for Princeton University USA. Still taking a bit out of them over Thames and Tyrus Scholars School.